Peaks of Health Metabolic Medical Center is all about you. In fact, the center was established to address the underlying cause of a disease instead of just treating the symptoms. And this morning, Dr. Tracy Linhart is focusing on what you need to know about the thyroid. Uh, good morning. Good, good to morning. see you. It's good to be back. There's a lot we can dive in for this, uh, talking about the thyroid. I feel like a lot of times I, I, you hear that it's misdiagnosed, mistreated. It's just a tough one to figure out. I guess let's start with what does the thyroid do? Well, I kind of explain to people that the thyroid is kind of like the speed of every cell in your body. Okay. That's why there's so many Seems symptoms important. involved with thyroid. So if it's you know, going too fast, everything speeds up. If it's going too slow, everything slows down. So most people are hypothyroid okay. or lower thyroid. You know, so that's going to be, they're going to be foggy thinking, they're going to have digestive issues because the gut's going to slow down, their heart rate slows down, so their weight loss, you know, their metabolism slows down, so they start gaining weight. They can have cold hands, cold feet, dry skin. So it involves everything. So how on earth, because when you hear all those symptoms, I mean, I can understand, especially when you're talking about fatigue or brain fog, I mean, how does a team figure out what exactly is going on? Do doctors automatically think thyroid? Okay, let's check that first. No, actually, most patients come in asking if their thyroid's the okay. problem. <laughs> um, we standardly run it on most of our patients. If they're complaining of fatigue, if they're complaining of weight gain, if they're coming in for weight loss, we always run a thyroid on our patients. Okay. Um, you know, Does it normally hit at a certain age? Most women will get worse after menopause. Okay. You know, because there are thyroid receptors on our ovaries. So the thyroid does go down in menopause in most women. So they, again, part of the weight gain. Mm -hmm. um, men usually have no clue. You know, so a lot of our guys, when we look at it, you know, they're gaining weight around the middle. They think their testosterone is low. Well, with it goes thyroid. Stress is a big one that can affect your oh, thyroid geez. gland. Yeah. How, who, who of us are not stressed out? <laughs> so how easy is it to test it's and actually, get some answers? You can test fairly easily. It's how you test that's the problem. Okay, so Most explain. of us were taught to test something called a TSH, which is thyroid stimulating hormone. That is not part of your thyroid gland. It's part of how your brain perceives your thyroid is working. So if you only test that, then you really don't know what's going on with the thyroid. You don't know if it's producing properly and you don't know if it's converting because you have something called T4. That is like storage thyroid. And then it converts to active thyroid called T3. Okay. So if you don't convert properly, then you're still low thyroid, even though you have a normal TSH. So is that something when, when someone is coming in questioning their thyroid and you think, okay, yeah, we may need to look at that. Do you automatically do both I of those tests hand in hand? I always look at the full thyroid. Um, I rarely only look at, I almost never look at just TSH. I always look at the whole thyroid because mm -hmm. again, the things that affect that, stress can affect okay. the conversion of thyroid. Yo-yo dieting. How many of our patients know, right? have dieted up and down? That yeah. will affect how the thyroid works. Mm -hmm. You know, so many of those things can affect that. Infections, you know, uh, autoimmune disorders. So there's so many different things that can affect that conversion. So we'll look at the entire thyroid all the time. Okay. We still have about a, a minute left. Talk about treating this and actually getting help and relief for patients. How easy is that? Um, it actually is fairly easy. If someone's just not converting properly because of stress, we'll put in the nutrients the thyroid needs to convert properly and try to just get it to work. Um, if they're hypothyroid where we just can't get that done, then we give them thyroid. So you can give multiple thyroid medications, but if they have low T3, uh, meaning they're not converting, they're not mm -hmm. making that active thyroid, then we have to give them some form of T3. Most okay. people are given Synthroid, which is T4 only. So we'll either add in like a Cytomel, which is T3, or we'll give them what we call desiccated thyroid. That's my preferred because mm -hmm. it's pig thyroid yeah. and it's the closest we can get to human thyroid. Well, as we close here, uh, what's your take home as we kind of put up your contact information, get people to call? Because again, I know this is a hot button is uh, a hot issue button. for a lot of people. What do you want them to know? Well, I mean, if you are having symptoms or you think there's something going on with your thyroid, ask your doctor to do the complete mm -hmm. testing. Don't just rely on just TSH. I did that for years. That was my yeah. problem. I asked them multiple times that I thought I had a thyroid issue. That's why I know it so well. And they kept on telling me I was normal. Yeah. And it turned out that no, I was very hypothyroid. Yeah. You know, so. Well, you also are doing something great for our viewers. We love this. You're doing a free consultation, a morning blend special offer. We'll put the details up on that. There is the number to call, the address on where you can find Dr. Linhart as well. Uh, Thank you so much. We always love our visits with you.